Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to install some high-vis sights on the Ruger 1022. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So uh, what we're gonna do is replace these factory sites. I actually broke one off by accident, um, but these are much better. These are fiber optic style sites that a lot of people like upgrading on the Ruger 1022. And we're gonna do the rear one first. Got everything out of the packaging. And uh, what we need to do is remove this site first to install this one. Now when you remove these, you're going to need a punch. I prefer a uh, brass punch so you don't damage anything. And the way these work, the receiver is going to go from left to right off the firearm. So in other words, your ejection port and charging handles on this side of the firearm. Um, and that is the direction you're going to push these sights off. Uh, there's all kinds of sight pushers and things like that. Uh, you Also, I have this in a vise. Just a standard bench vise with some towels here to kind of protect the firearm from not getting damaged. And when you're doing this, make sure that uh, you are not getting the uh, punch down onto the barrel portion, only on the flat portion of the sight itself. And let's see if we can get these out of here. Sometimes they're easier uh, than not. All right, so that came out. Uh, like I said, the, it was damaged to begin with, but so clean that up. I actually nicked my barrel a little bit, but because I use brass, that should wipe off, to be honest with you. We'll uh, check it later uh, once we uh, install these. All right, so to install these, <clears throat> you're gonna do the opposite of that. So they're gonna go from right to left onto the farm. Now, one thing you can do to help yourself get this a little easier is these corners here you can just kind of knock off the edge so it's not quite as uh, squared off and kind of get it started and if you need to adjust your farm which i do a little bit i need to raise this up the farm just a little bit i don't have enough room to work here so but you want a solid uh, spot for your firearm to not wiggle around. See, that right there is going to cause me to, for it not to be able to have a solid uh, platform to push the side in. And that's going to cause you some problems. So make sure that even if you've got to kind of maybe tilt your gun back or forward to accomplish that, um, where you want, it's not really going to move. That's one thing you want to keep checking. So let's see if I got it now, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty solid. All right, make sure your orientation is correct. Uh, these sights flip up, so you wanna make sure that what you're seeing here with these uh, little adjustment uh, calibration uh, marks on this side, uh, make sure that it is facing towards the rear, which is, would be where you would sight uh, down the rifle. So, get it started. Again, this brass hammer. Don't hit it real hard, just kind of tap it. It's starting to go in already. And then once you get it going good, take your punch. And drift it in. Make sure it's even on both sides. Flip your side up to give you a better idea how it looks. Probably needs a little bit more. All right, when you're tapping these on or off, there is a spot right here where this uh, hinges, this top piece. Do not get your hammer up on it. You'll wind up uh, breaking that off. So make sure that you're all the way down here on the actual base of the site. All right, so now we'll move to the front, uh, front site and do that. 
All right, guys, so let's work on the front sight now. Now, I've had to reorientate the firearm in the vise, so this time we're going this direction, which is towards the, again, towards the uh, receiver side. Uh, so again, left to right, if you're behind the gun, you're pushing it towards the uh, side where the action is uh, with the charging handle and the ejection port, okay? So again, same thing. Make sure you are on the spot that needs to be tapped. Work slow, don't get in a hurry. Firearm came out of the vise just a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. What you don't want, now that I've got it loose, it's not bad. Um, but let me go ahead and show you. You don't want this barrel bouncing back and forth a lot, uh, which will cause you to um, not, it won't work as well, okay? So again, clean up a little bit. If you want to put like a little oil or something right there, you can. All right, so this front sight, when you're installing it, Pay attention, because this one could be easy to get backwards. If you look, there's some like grooves right here that cuts down on glare. That obviously needs to go towards the rear of the firearm, towards where you would be sighting in, okay? Show you that optic, uh, fiber optic piece right there. Again, the ones with the groove. I've also burred off the uh, corners just a little bit on this one. Because now we're going to go from this direction over that way to install, okay? All right, so that's not going in like I like. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back out. And look at it. I may wanna take that burr off just a little more on that corner right there. Cause the other one was going, that one front was going in fine. This one was not. So like I said, you're just knocking that sharp edge off. So it's kinda of got a, easier way to go in. When you take it the uh, uh, side off, recheck, make sure you're uh, putting it on correctly in the right position. So yeah, that actually kind of seated in. Yeah, there we go. So now it's going on. Like I said, it just takes a little bit of, you know, knocking that edge off to kind of get it going. Also, make sure you're using like a brass hammer if you see it's leaving marks, but that brass will come right off. It is softer than the metal that we are actually hitting, so you should be fine. All right, so once you get it pretty well on going, then take your... I'm getting closer. Keep checking your work, don't do it too much. Still a little off on this side. Still a little off. We're getting there, almost done. All right. That's about as good as this gonna get. rub some of that off. I'll get, uh, matter of fact, I've got some gun scrubber here. Spray on that rag. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Got it installed, and I'll See if I, it's hard to see it because of this uh, red dot I got up here, but it's a much better 
site than the factory site. And that's one of the big complaints. Um, and one of the few complaints about the Ruger TN22 is your front sight. So this right here, if you like shooting iron sights or at least training or teaching people, this is much more easy. When you get the packaging, these will also be in my Amazon store. You can go down and uh, check that out. They give you extra um, fiber optic rods. It's currently set up when they send it to you, green on green. I'm probably going to switch out this front sight for one of the red ones, just, just probably. So they give you two rear sights and two front sights on this little card. And then they give you this little chain here. What I'll probably do, we talked about this in the video I did about this stock, is I'll put these in a little Ziploc bag and then put them in here so I'll know where they're at in case I ever need it uh, to do that. But anyway guys, there you go. Putting new sights on the Ruger 1022. If you got any questions, post those below. If you uh, have a favorite sight that you like uh, for the Ruger 1022, be sure to share that with us. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.